All right, hi everybody, Paul with Stream Geeks, and I'm about to geek out about Facebook Live reactions. Something that I've really been kind of geeking out about is how to do Facebook Live reactions, but how to run multiple Facebook Live reactions in a single live stream. We have a Facebook Live API, uh, plugin for WordPress I'm going to show you and I'm going to show you some custom titles that makes using um, Facebook live reactions amazing now we are using vmix so um, For other solutions you, you may want to think about uh, Using vmix and then connecting to another solution with NDI or we do have um, ability to bring in a web browser input with OBS XSplit and uh, Wirecast and Livestream Studio. So it's pretty cool, but I want to show you exactly what it all looks like. So this is a two-choice live reaction. So A or B, heart or haha. -ha. And if you've ever done Facebook live reactions, you know that this is a great way to boost engagement. When Facebook sees those ha ha's and those hearts and all of that, it really shows that people are super engaged with your content. So we've got some custom titles. First of all, I'll show you this right here. It's not running right now because I'm not live streaming, but we can actually pull in chat messages from YouTube and Facebook, the picture profiles of the people who are chatting and their messages and their usernames. So that's really cool. And I like to kind of do both at the same time so you can see what everyone's talking about and you can also see your live reactions questions. So. Here's a template that we did. This is a three choice. So you could say A, B, or C. You can do a, a two choice. And then we created another custom title, which allows you to do, um, this is actually, we can customize these. So they look really cool. I really like the layout that they've all kind of come out in. And let me show you um, exactly what these look like um, what, from a setup standpoint. So what I'm going to do in vMix is I'm going to add input. And I'm going to go to title and I'm going to go ahead and add, let me just add this one title uh, for the, for the shared YouTube and Facebook chat messages. So there's that title there. And I'm not going to go through setting it all up, but basically I would need to map all of the data to that title via vMix data sources, which I'll show you how to do in this tutorial. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull in, uh, let's see, pull in this three person reaction and then I've got these two these three other ones because um, three is probably the max that you want to do but you can do more um, so this is just an example of a three choice Facebook live reaction question you can type anything you want in there display it on the screen and prompt your live viewers to go ahead and you know use an emoji to vote essentially um, here's a two person one or two choice reaction question and everyone in your live stream can actually only have each one person can only have one vote so if they vote for one and then um, vote for another their old vote is then gone so technically you can actually do as many Facebook live reaction questions as you want as long as your users are continually using you're switching emojis if that makes sense so in here here are the emojis we've got the two emojis we can replace those with other emojis and I'm gonna have a there's a download with chat connect pro that comes with all of those so you can see I just switched the emoji to an angry face um, you can change those emojis to whatever you want Put any text in there that you want and kind of set it up properly but you can do a multi choice um, section and you can now here's where the data sources come in so now here's where I can go ahead and map to the data and that that they, we're using the Facebook API to pull in the emojis from um, the Facebook API basically into our WordPress chat connect pro account which I'll show you and um, we go ahead and get all that data from Facebook exactly how many people have voted for what and display that on the screen right here and if you're a vMix user you can see how easy this would be to just go ahead and do Facebook live reaction questions all the time and not have to have like a secondary source it's all managed in your live streaming software um, here are I've got three more because I just thought it's nice to have extra ones just in the can ready for you. So here's our second live reaction question here. 
Um, same setup where you can change the emojis because um, you will want to use, if you're going to do more than one Facebook Live reaction question each time, you want to do different emojis. And I'm going to show you an example of that in a second of why that is. But basically, everyone's only got a single vote. So when someone changes from a like to a heart or a heart to a angry face, that changes the, um, the vote. It removes the old vote. There's the shocked face just showing how we can go ahead and change those. And then we just map the text fields to the API for how the API basically counters there of how many people have done each. So there we can see there's five hearts and we've got, let's see how many um, shocked faces we have, probably zero. Uh, Cause I haven't prompted anyone to do this. This is just from data from an old Facebook live stream we did a couple weeks ago or maybe last week. Um, so yes, there's zero, and you can change the size of that and move things around using the vMix title editor if, as you so desire. So here's the data source manager, and all we got to do is hit the plus button there and type in the address of our JSON coming from our WordPress plugin. Now everyone has to have their own WordPress plugin. Here's my WordPress account. You can see that we just go to the stream that we want. And they all say VOD, meaning video on demand. If it was live or scheduled live, it would say so. And you can see here, like there's the YouTube chat room and it actually stores all your chat messages. So you can keep those for later if there's something you wanna, it's just all stored in a database, which is really nice. Um, but on the Facebook side of things, we go over here to Facebook and I'll just go to the front page of Chat Connect Pro so you can see it's just a regular WordPress website and it's just a plugin that you install and it manages everything for you. We go in here, I'm gonna change uh, this, I'm gonna cho choose this video here. That's the link to the JSON. Don't worry about all that information in there. You just need the link. That's the, ch the chat messages. But the bottom one there is the emojis. And that's the link we're using. And when we use that link, that's the data that pulls in. You can see it's basically like an Excel sheet just gives us how much information is in each um, each thing there. So that's it. That did take a while. Um, and uh, that is everything. So I'm going to go ahead and do one last little show uh, thing I want to show here is that. So here's a, a video that I have linked to this JSON file right here, Chat Connect Pro. So you can see it's got 20 likes, two loves, a wow wow, and a ha ha. So if I go over here and do, right now I've liked it, if I go ahead and hit wow, it's going to remove a like and it's going to add a wow. So see that wow is 1 now and the like is 19. So if I go back, hit heart, back here, that wow is going to disappear and one more love is going to add to this. Let's see if... There we go, see? So just wanted to show that off to, sh to show that you can really only vote once. So that's a good thing because now people cannot, you can actually run hundreds of Facebook Live reaction questions if you want to. So like this video, share it if it was helpful. We're gonna be, um, the Chat Connect Pro app is only $10, great for vMix users, but we're uh, adding additional functionality for OBS, Wirecast, Livestream, and all um, the regular streaming software as well. So it's all coming soon. And, and I'm really happy to be part of this and talk to you guys soon. Bye.